Well, Paul, a huge three points. Uh, what was your emotions at the end? One of relief after being 2-0 up and then to see them battle back to 2-2, only for us to pinch it at the end? Uh, like, like you said, listen, it's a big three points. <clears throat> I don't think it was relief. I think it was... Um, I, I think it was pride because, listen, the game at Tunbridge, we, we didn't play well, OK, and conceded two very late goals, two identical goals to what we conceded today. And you sit there and you just think, the lads don't, don't deserve that, didn't deserve that today. Um, and to go down and score uh, the winner to make it 3-2 was, um, was fantastic character, really. Yeah, and you talk about how well we played. We never really looked in any trouble until they scored the first goal, did we? Yeah, and then they score and obviously their tails are up and um, you know they've, they've got aspirations or um, to get in the playoffs and you know they're a good team. Scott's a great guy and they, they do things really well. They, they move the ball very well, but we defended really well. I thought we looked a threat every time we went forward. Um, we should have had two or three um, more with some really good chances. I'm convinced we had another two brilliant penalty shouts. Um, there's one in the second half on Lufa as a stonewall penalty, mm -hmm. stonewall penalty. Mm -hmm. um, but then when they score to make it 2-1, you, you, you do think, uh oh, you know what I mean? We don't do our job on the corner when they score and you just think, momentum's with them and, and we're obviously down because, and, and it's um, reminiscent of, of last Saturday. Um, but they dug in and listen, ev everything's against us this season, everything. You know, it took us it took the lads three and a half hours to get here today for a home game. It's it's so so difficult. It's so so difficult. Everything's against us. Um, you know, without you know, we've got to go Monday, Thursday, then we've got to play Saturday, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. Do you know what I mean? So you, you, I half get the feeling that some people don't really want us in the league, but it's not a bad feeling to prove people wrong. So we've got a lot of motivation. Um, today was a good day for us. We haven't cracked it yet. We, we still, we still need points. Um, case of recovering and a really tough game Monday away at Chippen. Yeah, you talk about the character when things are so against you. Does yeah. it surprise you then that your players dig deep one last time and almost score directly from the kickoff? Rocky Neal hits the post, and there's Adam Porter to tap home. It, it doesn't surprise me because I know my players. I know them. Um, listen, I was. I was made up, we scored, don't get me wrong, but it, it doesn't surprise me, no, that, that you've got to remember, we, we haven't played a home game in, in three years. It's, it's a magnificent achievement from the players, by the way, you know, and the fans who came today, and it's, it's tough, it's really tough playing, playing for Truro at the minute, it's really tough, but they keep going through it and every obstacle that gets chucked in front of them, they keep finding a way through it, you know, last week was a bad day, today's a good day. You talk about chipping them as well. That will be a tough, tough game. game. Yeah. yeah. Not too dissimilar travel time to here. So, as you say, every game's away for us at the moment. It won't make any difference. I'm sure you just prepare the players in exactly the same way. It's it's like we spoke about before. I don't know how I'm going to prepare for it because um, it's too early to tell with injuries and and so on and fatigue and all that comes into it. So, it'd be a case of. Um, Enjoying tonight, enjoying tomorrow. I think it's really important because you can get weighed down with football too much. You know, we're coming to the to the end of the season now, but we've still got a long way to go. So we we'll just see who's fit, pick a team, and like you said, it is a tough game because Gary does things. They're they're a really good football team, Chip, and really really good. Yeah, and just finally, you made some personnel changes today. A, a completely different attacking front line. How, how do you feel that the New players that you brought in, and players like Josh Hines, who, who made their first start today. How, how do you think they went? I, I thought they looked a threat every time we went forward. We changed things about. I thought we were brave. Um, we sat in and defended deep the last few games. I thought today we were front-footed. We um, so we all know Scotty Davis's quality on the ball, and I mean, probably not a better passer with the ball in the league, to be honest. So you got to try and stay narrow and. and suffocate space and, and nullify the opposition and all those coaching manual words but we were front footed you know, I thought we were good on good on counter attacks and on the regain and, and we looked fit again you know and when it came to it at the end we had to dig deep and we did well Paul huge congratulations enjoy your evening Will and do. quick recovery time for Monday against Chippenham absolutely